We will see what is diabetes, how it damages the nerves, why excessive sugar kills nerve cells, why does it affect the feet, and why it causes sensory loss. Diabetes is a condition where blood glucose levels are too high. This can be because the body cannot produce enough insulin in type 1 cases or the cells become resistant to insulin, which is type 2 diabetes. Diabetes is becoming increasingly common, so it currently affects 1 in 10 adults and prevalence rises pretty quickly. So as we can see here, for example, how quickly the number of the diabetic population increased in 20 years. You can see the economic burden of diabetes in the healthcare systems of diverse countries. So for example, this is the amount of money that was spent on diabetes in each of these countries only in 2021. And the global expenditure is expected to reach 1 trillion in the next 8 years, which is pretty shocking. Diabetes is the leader cause of neuropathy worldwide. Neuropathy means disease of the nervous system and up to 50% of all the patients seen by neurologists have diabetic neuropathy. Uh, in its commonest form, diabetic neuropathy affects the peripheral nerves, so the nerves supplying the limbs. Uh, the way uh, diabetes damages nerves is it damages the blood vessels that supply nerves, but it also damages nerve cells directly. So let's see how is it that diabetes directly damages nerve cells. Nerve cells receive nutrients from the blood vessels in the nerves. In order to use glucose as a source of energy, inside the cell we have enzymes which will carry a series of reactions that alter the molecule of glucose slightly in order to use it as a source of energy. So we have all these intermediates, which don't worry about the names, but just the general idea that is a process that involves many molecules, many chemical reactions. What happens in diabetes is that we have raised glucose levels in the blood, more glucose delivered to neurons, and neurons cannot prevent this glucose from coming in. Other cells in the body can, but neurons cannot, and that's why they're so sensitive to hyperglycemia. So glucose is floating into the neurons and the thing is, this machinery is pretty limited so there's only so much glucose a cell can process at a time. So what happens is, these enzymes become saturated, they are working as hard as they can but they cannot meet the demand for glucose metabolism. So these intermediates, they start to accumulate. And once they start to accumulate, they get to be converted into inappropriate pathways and these pathways will go on and cause a lot of damage in the cell. They will go on and cause protein modifications, they will alter the way genes are expressed in the cell, they will change the whole way the cell functions. And if you think of it, glucose is a very powerful molecule, that's where we extract all of our energy from. So if we cannot channel all this energy in an appropriate machinery, this energy will go on and cause a lot of damage in the cell. So eventually we'll get oxidative stress, inflammation and permanently damaged proteins. And eventually the cell dies. <laughs> Diabetic neuropathy mainly affects the lower bottom of the legs. It starts at the toes and progresses to involve the whole foot and calves and once it's well established below the knee, it starts affecting the upper limb as well as it progresses towards the center of the body. So the reason why these nerve fibers are affected in special is because diabetic neuropathy is length dependent and the longest cells in the body as we saw are these nerve cells. And the reason why the disease progresses this way is because the neuron dies back, so it starts dying from the periphery upwards uh, towards the center of the body, so that's why we get this pattern of disease progression. So diabetic neuropathy primarily destroys sensory fibers, 
Sensory fibers are those that send signals up to the brain from the environment, so they're responsible for sensations as we saw earlier, such as for example feeling the warmth of a candle or the pain of stepping into a nail. Motor fibers then send information from the brain down to uh, the muscles to take actions and trigger responses. So for example, the reflex response in the case of retracting the foot. So diabetic neuropathy mainly uh, destroys sensory fibers, so we have no sensation. Motor fibers are only affected at advantage stages and at a lesser extent. But the thing is, if we cannot feel something, we cannot respond to it either. So, insensitivity also means unresponsiveness to harm. 